Hello, this is Andy here from New Power. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of Slidewise, an essential PowerPoint add-in that will save you bundles of time every day. So once you've installed Slidewise, you will see it appear in your home ribbon. And if it doesn't open automatically, you can click the button to open the Slidewise index. On the right hand side, you can see the task pane and immediately you get a view of the content of the file. So this is the breakdown of the content and importantly, it also lists the file size where relevant of each content type. So for example, we can see here of our 20 megabyte PowerPoint, we have about seven megabytes of images. We've got some embedded chart data and we've even got a video down here, which is making up quite, quite a lot of the file size. Slidewise also makes it really, really easy to navigate and find out where this content is. So in the case of the video, we can see here, if I double click, click it, it will jump immediately to the video. There's also another way to navigate within Slidewise. If you select an object in PowerPoint, you can see down here on the right hand side, you will get an inspector window. And this inspector window will give you more details about each of the objects that you have selected. For images, you can see the dimensions, both displayed and actual, and the scale factor. Immediately, we can see that the image is overly large and we may want to replace it with a, an optimized version. So to do that, we can right click, use the change picture feature and select an optimized version. Or we can do what I like to do for a quick fix is to hit the picture format tab and then go to use the compressed pictures on this particular image. And then once the file is saved, you can see down here that the image has changed to 1.68 megabytes. We can use this button here to locate the object in Slidewise. Slidewise lists all the content in your file. So in this case, we have embedded chart data. We already have some links. Um, so if I look at the links, uh, I can easily spot and jump to the link. Oh, in this one, I can quickly see that there is a typo. So I can go and edit that one without too much fuss. So that, that should be fixed up. And now if we jump back to that it within Slidewise, you can see now that the URL has been corrected. Slidewise also has the very useful warnings. So up here, we can see that it's warning about substituted fonts. Um, we've also got other warnings for embedded chart data and um, when links are missing or broken. The warnings obviously will depend upon the content in your file. And also if you don't have some content in your file, it won't be listed in Slidewise. For example, in this file, I don't have any audio content, so it's not listed. Now down the right hand side, we can see there's some action buttons. Clicking on these allows you to access Slidewise's powerful features. In this case, I could replace fonts. Um, in the case of images, I can replace the image and remove all data from embedded chart data. There's many action buttons in Slidewise on this or other views. Please check out the videos so you can make the most of these features. If you're not happy with the default setup of Slidewise, you can go to the preferences and you can configure how Slidewise is available in PowerPoint. So we can disable it so that it's not included on the home tab. We can stop it from opening automatically, etc. Now I have just only talked about the fonts and media tab, but as you can see here, there are many other tabs with other useful features included. So for example, here we can see where our slide masters and layouts are being used. We can see where the comments and speaker notes are. We can easily find hidden slides and hidden content. There's an image audit tool, which will run through your file and pick out any images that are too large or suffer from poor scaling. And we have the overview of transitions where you can check out every single slide and see what transitions have been applied.